divining. The funny thing about that, the, the, the divining stick, is that it's a, a measurement of a witchcraft, or a, a measurement that a witch would use. Look it up at your, at your uh, sister, um, Miriam the Webster, that they might tell you. But, 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 but here's the thing, here's the thing, the, the, the divining, I, 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 I would know the difference between two topics. I might uh, throw a divining rod in it, at it, at, I might get the divining to show me, I might get the divine to open up to me, except when I have a divining rod, I have a witchcraft carrying me. I have, I uh, have. I, I want to make a measurement between two things, but we are seeking in this season the divining rod of the enemy. We are seeking the divining rod of the enemy, and we don't know the word of God. I, 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 we pick up the divining, but we don't have the divine uh, interpretation of the uh, uninhabited, inspired, infallible, lovely, great. The word of God. So when we get the Bible, we are quick to pick it up. But you don't know. I see books that will say the Bible behind uh, make a mega lasagna. The rules and the Bible. See, people don't respect the Bible, but they will say it when they want to. Because they know if they put Bible on it, to you I respect for it. I don't care what sin you are standing in or what sin you have your skin has been involved with. You will see if you see Bible, you know that it's an authority. You will pick it up as an authority and you will hold it in high esteem. You will pick it up and you will read it and you will apply it to what you are doing. I will respect the Bible, but I don't know anything about the Word of God. I heard another one. I heard a song that I love. You never lost the battle. Never lost the battle. You ever, you ever heard that song? I love that song. I want to I hug that song until I squeeze it. Uh, I love that song. You never lost the battle. You never lost the battle. God is taking it from me. <laughs> he take it off my playlist. I was like, ooh, I haven't listened to this in a long time. You wanted me to drop it because when I listened to it the first time I dropped the street, I did not listen to the words completely that they were saying. See, if you want to quote the word of God, don't quote the Bible and bring the mistakes to me. I'm going to see it. The Holy Spirit's going to reveal it. And he told me, Jamie, put it down because that can't be coming out of you. That's not word. That's Bible. You can do all things, you can do all things but fail. That's my first issue. Why well, did you can do all things but fail? You can do all things but fail sounds like you came to me, little one, little Timmy, little, little Timmy, Timmy, come on, you can do this. You can do everything, Timmy, except this one little thing right here. It sounds like Timmy should be shooting for the little, the, the, the little thing right there. It sounds like you want me to shoot for the thing that says I, I can do all things but this. Uh, it sounds like you should be one that I'm just gonna be shoot for that. You want know, me to shoot that basket? You want me to get that in there? I can do all things but fail. Okay, Cause you say you are uh, God can do all things but fail with that conjunction. But fail. You can do all things but fail. Sounds like to me you're waiting for him to fail. And you gotta be careful because it's not about you. I know you got the word of God down. You know this is the you ain't carrying your Bible. You're carrying the word of God with you, right? You in your you in your you hiding the word in your heart because even Stephen Furtick said he said anything can become an idol. Right? That's what I'm talking about. I was like, thank you. That wasn't just for me. That was from Stephen Furtick. <laughs> Do. I know you guys got this, you got God down, you know what you're doing, God is using you, even in your gifts and your callings, because without the gifts and calls of God come without repentance, you know how to use the word of God properly, so I know this ain't for you, what I'm saying is songs that are epic like that, I love that song, except for the fact that it's a bold faith lie, here's the thing, here's the thing, here's why, here's why I say why. First of all, first of all, we, we, we inch up on a lie because the enemy starts slow. So we, I'm not saying the enemy is in, in the song, and I'm saying the enemy is, is all about it. So what I'm saying is that the enemy will take anything that you are uh, called as nonchalant. Oh, that's just nothing, that's semantics. Uh, but the enemy hides in the semantics. Uh, uh, the devil is in the details. So uh, uh, my desire is not your desire. I delight in reaching people for the, with the word of God and reaching people for the kingdom of heaven. Uh, hallelujah. So since I delight in reaching people for God, I, I'm hold to a higher standard or in your case what you use in your witchcraft or divining line. I'm held to a higher line. <laughs> so because of that, I don't allow myself to die. Oh, that's just semantics. I don't give myself a, a out. 
Otherwise, I would get up and just write anything and call it a poem. And just, hey, I'll take that, God. And then I, 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 I've written things, but if I, don't, if I write things and I don't appreciate them and I don't love them and I'm not in love with them like I'm in love with God, if it ain't worthy of the gift that he gave me, he called me from the tree from Calvary. And if I'm not, if it's not worthy of Calvary, then I don't put it online. I'm trying to win a soul in this thing. I'm not trying to just walk up to your divine and rod and measure my skirt against the line of it. I'm not trying to meet you in that thing. I'm not trying to touch it. I'm not trying to look at you. I'm not trying to do what you are doing. That was the last idea. Matter of fact, that was when I was three. I was doing what you were doing. I was three. I was five or something. Now I'm word of God. I'm not punching it in the face with the word of God. I'm not a, I'm not a Bible thumper anymore. I'm a, I'm a word of God puncher. Watch your face. Make sure you come to school with uh, Vaseline on. Be at the ready for me. Hallelujah, God, mama. I'm sitting on this bicycle holding on to the sea. I'm going to fly off this thing. Oh, you never lost the battle. You never lost the battle. <laughs> huh. The funny thing is... You can do all things but fail. That's what we say to God. This is our issue with Ephesians 3.20. Here's, here's, here's my issue. You can do all things. God, hey, in my life, you can do all things. But I came, I live, I grew up in Baghdad. You want to talk about something? Y'all ain't never seen nothing. See, that's why y'all y'all living comfy, cushy. Hey, the sound Maryland for your whole entire life. Y'all living uh, the, 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 the 90210. Oh, y'all live with the, 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 the with Donald Duck and his, uh, his uh, rich uncle. Life is like an aeroplane. Swimming in gold. Y'all live like that. I grew up in Baghdad. We had uh, handcuffs on my bedroom door. Bedroom door. We had handcuffs on them. Where the one that Upstairs, uh, there was bullet holes everywhere. There was bullet holes in my grandmother's apartment door, bullet holes. And I, an hour ago, we didn't know when we was going to get shot. If, if, if I'm going to get to school on time, am I going to make it to school? Do you see it online? You see it online and you see it on the news today. So you guys are taken by that. I live it. That's why I'm not taken by it. I just know how to go ahead and pray about it. And then I get deliverance in it. Okay, God, those kids are gone. What are we going to do about it? My kid, I was in eighth grade and my friend Tabu died with us. We were at downstairs in the gym. They dropped dead. Nobody shot him, he had an asthma attack and just died. We was all at the funeral. What, 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 come on, cry me a river. I mean, it's, it's not that I'm, 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 I'm desensitized, I'm very sensitized, but I'm sensitized with the Holy Spirit. I see the way God wants us to see it. And those kids are going in there in heaven, they're rejoicing with God. And you don't, we're trying to get you right, right? So I gotta make sure that when I say something, that it's heard properly, and that even those that are. Not in the church. That's why I like that. that those, are, those are ones I want to talk to. Those are ones I want to preach to. I don't talk to church folk. Because I got that too. I got that. Somebody said to me, you don't have enough word in your message. And I'm looking at myself, but you don't even know what a Bible is. Where your Bible at? You know what it is? You know how you spell Bible. Babel, B-A-B-B-L-E, you don't understand it, it's Babel, it's confusion to you because you don't read it, you don't understand it, uh, your, ba your Bible has become Babel to you because you don't touch it, you don't read it, you don't communicate with it, it's because of the fact that the word of God is living, so if you don't communicate with it, it cannot touch you, and here's the thing, it will sit on your stanchion and collect dust as long as you ask it to, if you do not, if you never pick it up and then uh, eat, eat all of it, eat the scroll, if you never jog it inside of you, if you don't take it off the stanchion and uh, take it from the place of having an eye, of a Bible, and they're gonna stop licking uh, uh, the, uh, uh, Gideon's uh, uh, golden fleece. I didn't understand why people were doing that, but no, I didn't say anything about that. I said it was stupid because it is. You might make it an idol out of Gideon's fleece. I don't understand why you would do something like that. Not that I don't understand it, I don't understand why you would do it because people are want to put an apple between them and God. They want to put a piece of fruit between them and God. Uh, that's why you got kicked out of the garden. That's the difference between two gardens, sweetie. Uh, that's why we went from Eden to Geth. Because we always want to put something between me, us and God. That's why we put, uh, went from Eden to Geth. Because I'm a connection. Because that's the way we always want to put something between us and God. If you knew the word of God, you would understand what I was saying. Oh, baby, speaking babble. I have the word. <laughs> Here's the thing you're not responsible for what goes on inside the household, household of faith necessarily, but you are responsible for what the world hears. You can do all things, but fail. Great. Jam, you could do everything. <laughs> Excuse me, y'all. Yeah, I'm going to go somewhere. Stay with me. Don't be angry. It's not racism thing. Jam, you can do everything. But be white. 
That's true. You can do anything but fail, God. Right? That's true. <laughs> you can do anything but fail. You can do everything but be white. That's correct. That is correct. I, will, I was born black. I will die black. And I like it like that. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. God, I thank you right now in the name of Jesus for your word. Oh, I thank you for the design that is still grand. I thank you for the grand design. God, I thank you for the way you designed it. Do I like everything in it? Do I like me in my flesh? Like everything about it? No, I don't like everything about any situation. But I still have sense enough to know at the end of the day that you are good in it. I thank you, God, that you're still good. You are good, 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 mm-mm, good. Oh, say it with me. Mm-mm. He's a he's, um, camel soup. Um, uh, ooh, that's good. Um, mm, 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 good. He's a good judge like that. He's a great. He's Tony the Tiger. Frosted Flakes. Great. Except he's not flaky. He's great. He's great to me and he's great to you. He said that John 14 was a four, right? Uh, that greater things shall I do, better things shall you do. Because he's great. He said, ah, uh, he's the greatest he that is in me uh, and that he that is in the world. Then he went back to John and said, the greater things, greater things, greater things. Uh, even though he be great, huh? And inside of me, I'm the one that he needs to do great tough things and nothing but up. Cause I pulled myself up in him and I charged you. I told y'all two years ago when I was on Johnson Street, I said you cannot change your atmosphere. Oh God, you cannot fix it, excuse me, but you can change it by charging it. Charge us, God. I need an assignment, God. You gotta charge me with an assignment. Because if you don't give me an assignment, you will find me in an institution. Hallelujah, God. I need an assignment. I need something to work on. Something to work to Words, huh? Then God gave me the word, huh? Working on the word, work the word just right. We gotta be rooted and grounded in the word, huh? That day and night to say, well, Psalm 1 verse 2 and that, he said, uh, 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 blessed is the man that walks not in the castle of the ungodly, you know, same thing with the sinners, but sitteth in the sea of the soul. Verse 2, but his delight is in the law of the Lord. I delight in you. And then there's a lot that we meditate. What did we say a couple seconds ago? Day and night, have I, I find you day and night. That means I spend no time in the world without you. You know when I'm walking around in the earth, I spend it with you. It's all about you, God. You are the only one that matters anything to me. Why? Because you great. You are great. I got greater. Remember how I got greater with me. Because greater is in me. So I become greater, right? Based on my deeds, God said, indeed be free. If you are indeed be free in this season, you know. If you are free and free indeed, you're supposed to be doing deeds that are great. Because he said, great to work, shout you do. And he said, behold, I've returned and my reward will be with me. In Revelation 22, 17. When he comes back at 22, 17, he will have a reward. Based on your work, you better have some great works. Because greater works he says you would do. And if you don't do this, he won't be a liar. It'll be just be a mess on you. Because he infiltrated you and he filled you with the ability to do great. Great that I he freed us first to do it. He said, I told this Anne Marie, I said, I sit on my floor right here. This is how I see you. He moved the sunset free. I set them dug up. Throw them jail boss down. He set you free. The only reason why you cannot, you might not be able to do these that he's asking you to do is if you are still in bondage to what you are in bondage to. Hallelujah. So I thank you, God, for your word. Bless my pastor and his wife and his children. Then go and bless that Pastor David, right? Then go and bless Pastor David and his wife and his children, his grandchild. Oh, God, that's Pastor David, her digi, right? Then go and bless Pastor David Lewis and, his, and, and him and Ishmael. <laughs> that is not like him, that's my friend, Lola. Then you all go, Lola, 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 well done, not good and faithful servant. He said, Great! It's not over, it's just beginning. Sometimes when we, we get um, into a mode and we think that that's uh, all that we are set to do because that, that's a name. The, the, the name that a, a blogger tells me that I should have a hair phone on. But what happens when I'm still a blogger and a guy calls me to retire my hair phone and pick up ministry outside of here? That's still great because I still got 
influence. Da-da. That's the David Harris talking about influence. I said, I influence. Don't I? I gotta be her. I want influence and affluence. Da-da. To affect a truly a thoroughly prayed. That could be what God is calling me to. And you got many ministries. Da-da. You just sit down. One God said, one is all you need. Da-da. He said, set yourself free. Da-da. He said, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. I already set you free. I'm talking to Miss Anne Marie. I said, uh-uh. He did that before Calvary. He spoke to Jesus for me, right? And all along, he's setting people free. And so I pick up the word of God, faith comes by hearing him by the word of God, word of God. And I pick up the word and I read it and make it a part of me, right? That I will be free just like the woman with the issue of blood. Who got free and saved. Free Calvary. And just without the shedding of blood, there could be no remission of sins. I was just thinking, what if the blood that she shed along the way, right? Because she had a flow. Oh, 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 that wouldn't stop. In her flow, not stopping, right? The 12 months of her, 12 years of 12 months, did not stop. I thought I told you that we won't stop. Hallelujah. Whatever happens if I have the flow, that won't stop. And I mean, Jesus, whoever is the, 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 the connecting piece. He stops my flow. As I'm touching his robe, am I? My flow stops. I give me some virtuousness out of it. Then it renames me, adopts me, and calls me daughter. Oh God, it's funny the fact that nobody has uh, picked me up. I now got her a daddy in the spirit. He set her down, and after he's done, all we know, we don't know. He said to her what she said. All we know is that he calls her daughter. At the end of the day. I don't know. Can I, can I, can I, I've done some things. Recently, like this Sunday, I messed up terribly. <laughs> Woo, all right, not crying again. All right, not gonna do it. Let's check this out. I'm praying, God. I know I messed up, but greater is He that is in me. I could, I could, I could, I could, I could rework some things. Hey, hey, God, I, I, I may not be able to redo or undo what I did, but check this out. Going forward, I can walk in uh, the He who knows that the sun sets free. See, some of us are walking in issues of the past, and God said that. Uh, God said, He said, I made you before the foundation of the world. I already knew Christ was going to come and die on the cross. So since both of those events were in the making at that time, and the plan was for you to be free, you were born free. You were born free. You just slit and slit. You are born in sin and shape iniquity. But you were free, sliding into sin and shape and iniquity. The enemy just whispers. Because those that are free, cause I get us to set the unfree. God, I thank you, because you never stop making me free, walking me into free. God, I thank you. God, you are wonderful. Hallelujah. I didn't get the, 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 the answer that I wanted to get from the doctor. Mm-mm. And so I thank you, God, that everything, everything, I said, that, uh, when Joseph said it back in the Old Testament, he was pointing to, I think it was uh, Genesis chapter 50. Anybody knows it? I don't know. I'm not sure, but check it. Let me know. When Joseph said it back in the 50 of the Genesis, he was pointing to the 28 of the Romans, uh, right? He was saying what we were to say in this thing. And we know, because he knew, he stood up and said it, that uh, I know you meant it for evil, but God has turned it. Everybody turn around. Go it again, Lola. Turn it. But I, I need you to stop at 180. Because then you turn and you spin and you come back to 360. You're going to be facing the same situation that you were facing. So not only am I free from it, but when I turn, I'm going in a different direction. And then I start going in a different direction. What you have done does not matter to me. I've got my eyes fixed on Calvary. He's in a fixing your eyes on Jesus. Who's up? the finisher he finished it Ella. it is finished he did it just like that but I, he finished it so the, uh, the author and finisher of our faith uh, check it out Jesus did it I don't need no more people to do it why is he walk around so trying to beat the king of kings I only need one one plus one plus one equals what I like heaven mathematics. So I'll take a sip of that. So thank you, God, for the cross, for the shedding of your your son's blood, God. You set me free, God, and I'm free and free indeed, God. I've got life and life more abundantly, God. Oh, God, I thank you that all things work together for the good to them that love God and are the call according to this purpose. So I have the all things of Romans 8, 28, but I also have the all things of Philippians 4, 13. I can do all things through Christ uh, that strengthens me. But then I get to all these things of uh, Matthew 6, 33 that says, Seek ye first the kingdom.
kingdom of God that's where it starts really and his righteousness and all these things will be added unto me but then I go over to Romans 8 37 that says yet and still yet and still yet and still oh God yet and still in the midst of this right now in the midst of whatever's going on yet in this uh, I am more <laughs> people skip over the fact that God said I am more back in the Old Testament I said you can't skip that because the Old Testament is what bridges me to get me from the law to the New Testament right? I have to understand the futility of the law to understand that I'm no longer bound to it a slave to it and I have to walk in freedom is understanding my past uh, what a being bound to the Old Testament means if I don't understand the binding that they walked in uh, I won't appreciate what Jesus come and uh, when he says all the law is wrapped up in these two things if I don't know all the law or the see all the law what it looks like right? I won't appreciate the fact that they wrapped it all up in a gift to say here as long as you do these two things uh, you are touching me <laughs> I gotta know it he said God said what he said he said uh, Moses said who shall say sit I told him Marie I said he knew you ain't gonna stop in the middle of the desert and talk to the middle of the desert and talk to no burning bush you about 30 years old you would have died by now if you was crazy like that you ain't gonna stop in the middle of the desert and talk to no the hallucination right because if he's not there if God's not there then it's hallucination to hallucination Right? But it's not. So we know that God was there. You stop to talk to the bush. You talking to a bush. You done found the thicket. Right, mama? Abraham found the ram in the thicket. You Now you talking to the thicket. That's a thick bush. You talking to that burning bush. It's on fire. He's on fire. No, he wasn't what the, the, the bush was. You stop to talk to it. Right? And you said, who shall I say sent me? Who you think is sending you? He said, I am. That I am. This is the question. Where I, 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 I'm is what? May I have your name, ma'am? Yes, I'm is. My name is Am. What? I am that I am. You gotta be fly enough to be able to do that and have it carry. I am. God told me a couple of months ago. He said, Jamie, tell the people I am blank. Fill in the blank. Oh well, God, I love the Jehovah's right because you go Jehovah, Jireh, Jehovah, Nisi, Jehovah, Shalom, Jehovah, Rafi, Jehovah, Shama, Jehovah, uh, um, Jehovah, El Kanai, Jehovah, Sid Canu, Sid Canu. I, mean, I don't know what the Sid Canu is, but I like uh, the way it sounds when I say it. I got the Jehovah in it, uh, and I got Jehovah Sid Canu. I, mean, I, I like Nisi a lot, and I really vibe on uh, Jireh just like that. You got to because then you go to Philippians four nineteen, and if you don't vibe on Jireh, you won't get to that scripture to get what you need, right? He supplies uh, all I need according to His riches glory. So I got to ride Jireh just like that, like Zorro. But I really like her. Oh God, where sit canoe sounds. I see me see in battle, but I get the sit canoe just because I like to say sit canoe. But uh, while we're standing here, and I got a stick it in front of me, and it's on fire. He said, pick. I'm about filling a blank. Uh, 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 there's three individuals here. Uh, we got one, one, one plus one plus one does not equal three. It equals one, right? Uh, pick. Come on, uh, 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 who is standing in front of you? Uh, I am. Uh, 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 that's where uh, that's where the blank comes from. Blank. What you need, baby? Oh, 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 oh. Jesus am. What the hell? What you need? What you need, friend? Oh, I did it. He 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 can supply that. What you need? Ooh. I gotta hit a note too. But I can't live without him. That is why I love him so. Cause he's so real to me. Jesus is real. Yeah, real. Jesus is real to me. Oh, oh yeah. He gave me the victory. So many people doubt him. But I can't live without him. That is why I love him so. He's so real to me. Yeah, come on out of the eye. Ooh, I get a bad note about that screw in my foot. But I cut it out. I got a new foot coming in glory. Because who's real? Jesus is real. He's real to me. <laughs> oh, yeah. Who gave you the victory? He gave me the victory. Oh, so many people doubt him. But I can't live without him. That is why I love him so. Because he's so real. He's real. Oh, he's real. Y'all don't do the cold jack. Oh, come on. He's real. You talking about real for the next two days. Oh, he's real. 
So can I put that in the blanks? Yes, it will to me. Come on, God, glory. I can't sing. Y'all know the words. Sing it. If you sing loud enough, you'll sing over me, and my praise won't bother you. I feel like some people are uncomfortable around me because my praise is outside of their comfort zone, and you just start praising God outside of your own comfort zone. Y'all hear me? Because I'm gonna keep saying it all. He's real to me, you know. Oh, yes. Not, oh, no. You know what I'm talking about? Every time you see a situation, come on. Oh, no. I don't know what I'm going to do. Oh, no. I got to think about it. I stress about it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. What do you all know for? The situation is there. It is there. That's what I'm saying. Oh, yes. For positive, affirm it, right? Oh, yes. Situation, you're there, huh? But I have something for you. Blah, 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 blah. That'll medicate you. Because when the enemy tries to come in, he ain't nothing. There ain't no baller or shot caller. When the enemy tries to come in, I've got something for you. Me see. Oh, you here? You got Jesus on one side of the door. So behold, I stand at the door and knock. And you got the uh, Holy Spirit on the other side of the door. Right? It says when the enemy comes in like a, like a flood. Right? The Spirit of the Lord was about to stand there against him. So you got, you got like a flood, Holy Spirit on one side of the door. And Jesus knocking on the other. When the enemy won't get to your door. I don't care if he was breaststroking, just like the woman with the issue of blood across the ground. She's breaststroking, right? But she couldn't stand up, right? Hallelujah. So she had a drip that wouldn't quit. Blah, blah, blah. What happens when my drip won't quit? Money is leaving my pockets just like that. What happens when I drip that won't quit? Y'all know what I'm talking about. She ain't the only one that's been suffering for 12 years or 12 months from a drip. And floor has not left my house. Oh, yes, God. But God said, just fill in the blank. And, uh, you want to answer the situation? Fill in the blank. What do you need? You gotta da, da, da. fill in the blank. He said, I am. He said, who shall I say sent me? He said, uh, oh God. He said, Whoo. he said, I am. Blank to it. Oh God. So that, uh, God said, I am blank. So that Jesus could step in and say, I am of the vine in John 15. Just abide in it. It went from God to Jesus, right? God said, fill in the blank. It says, we were not competent enough to do it, right? Jesus said, the blank is now John 15. Anything that you need, I will be. Right? He said, I am the way, the truth, and the light. I am the door. I am the vine. I am the tree. See, I am like a tree. Play by the rivers of water. Psalm 1 verse 3. I could be like a tree, but I would never be the complete tree, right? I told you about this. There's a picture of a married couple coming together and the marriage follows the act of the Trinity. And when a married couple comes together, that letter I that you were walking around looking like, I look like the letter I, I want, I think, I feel, when you hook up with that person, right? Eyes come together and God can start working on you, right? 